Hey friends, Pants aka Nougat here with another Kunak video. The expansion release hype is real, and in this video I'm going to show how to keep for Sebelis. If you haven't already seen my beginner's tour of Old Sebelis, just click the link in this video. The key quest for Old Sebelis can either be extremely tedious and time consuming, or a breeze. The not so secret to a quick Sebelis key quest is simply to have a tracker. In the classic era, a ranger may be the best option as they have the largest radius with their tracking ability. A bard and a druid can absolutely hold their own, and their mediocre tracking abilities are far superior to having none. I suggest you begin this quest with the help of a tracker. And to my kingdom guildmates, please also see the written guide that is provided for members on the kingdom website. Kunark launch day is going to be a very competitive day, and our leadership will lay out a day one game plan. This video is for all of you, but it's also for anybody who stumbles upon it. The Sebelis Key Quest requires two components found within Trakanon's Teeth. They are two medallions, the Medallion of the Kunzar and the Medallion of the Nathsar. Simply slay the Froglock Forager for the Kunzar Medallion and the Froglock Hunter for the Nathsar Medallion. When you have the two medallions, they can both be turned into Emperor Ganek within the zone for the Trakanon Idol. The Idol is the key to Sebelis. That is a quick rundown of the quest. Where it gets tricky is that Trakanon's Teeth is a large jungle covered in hills. Simply running around using your eyes to find the hunter or forager is extremely difficult. It is easy to run right by them as they are just on the other side of a hill and behind a tree. These two frogs like to stand still but they sometimes wander as well. Each frog has placeholders that are named creatures that can drop useful loot. We are here for the key, so I will not get into the loot you could find. Killing a hunter, forager, or a named mob will trigger an instant respawn. The respawn may be another hunter, another forager, or a named placeholder. Rarely or occasionally, it can be both a hunter and a forager. As a tracker, you want to set your tracking list to show new mobs that appear on track to be at the top of your list. This is because when you find and kill the hunter forager or placeholder, there will be an instant respawn. This respawn would then be at the top of your tracking list if you are within tracking range. As I demonstrate in this video, it allows for you to track and spawn the hunter forager over and over again. This can allow you to key lots of people in far less time. The Hunter Forager and Placeholders do have set spawn locations. I've never bothered to learn them, but if you are attempting this without a tracker then it may be worthwhile. A map is available on the wiki along with lists of known named placeholders. My general rule of thumb is if it's a named mob that isn't a red con, then it's probably a Hunter Forager placeholder. I happened to record an example of the instant respawn. If you and your party kill the hunter forager or a placeholder and you don't immediately find the next spawn at the top of your track list, it's simply because the respawn is outside of your tracking range. I like to run to the lake near the center of the zone and run circles refreshing track. Eventually the mob I need appears. Once you have the two medallions, you can now turn them in for the key. I start back at the zone line to Emerald Jungle, but still on the Trakanon's teeth side. Follow the wall to your left if you're facing the Emerald Jungle zone. This is the entrance to Swamp of No Hope, and there is a turn in here for another key. See my Charsis video for another guide. Continue following the wall and you will come to an entrance to a crypt. This is the incorrect crypt. You will want the second crypt if you're coming from the same direction.
Within the crypt is Emperor Ganek, hand him both medallions to receive the Trachanon's idol. This is the key to Old Zebulus. Thank you for watching another one of my videos. Please leave a comment if you'd like to see more. I have more content planned, though it can take most of a day for me to make a video like this. Please be patient as I find time for uh, some more new stuff. Later, guys.